お好み焼きと富士宮焼きそばを合わせたご当地グルメいただきまーす Welcome back to my channel and for this your camp video I'm not camping and back in the kitchen and as promised I'm going to be making food from season 2 of y u r u camp So today, we're gonna make the yakisoba okonomiyaki or gomoku shigure. She was trying to decide what to order. She just went with everyone else's order, and this is what she got. It looks amazing, and they show how to make it, so I guess I'll make it too. Let's get cooking. So, we're going to start with the batter. So, let's start with a cup of flour. So, a cup of flour. So, all it takes is flour. Water and mirin. So I don't have mirin, so I'm going to use sugar, a teaspoon of sugar. So just mix your flour and sugar together, and into this mixture, we're going to add three quarters cup of water. Okay, looks like my proportions are wrong. If your batter is too thick or too runny, just add a little more water or flour. To make it go the way you should. It's coming together. So, basically, what we're looking for is kind of like a pancake batter. So, this looks about right. So, what you want is a pancake batter kind of consistency.、Um, it's a little lumpy. We would preferably have it a little smoother than a pancake batter because, you know, we want lumps in pancakes. But otherwise, this would be pretty good. And we're ready to move on to the next item. Now, we're going to prep all our veggies. So, let's just start with the green onion here. So, for the green onion, we're going to just finely chop it. And then we'll also need、um, some onion. Looks like in the video, it's not a lot of onion. So, we've got our onions. And lastly, we're going to chop some cabbage. This is the main veggie of your dish. So, we're gonna need about two cups of cabbage. This one, I just kind of cut off the side of one. And I'm just gonna cut that really thin. So, something like this would be a good size thin chop for your okonomiyaki. So, now our veggies are done. I'm gonna give this a wash, and we can basically assemble the whole okonomiyaki. So, for the yakisoba portion, we're going to use a quick hack. You can buy yakisoba noodles in the grocery store, or you can get any instant noodle. So, I'm using my favorite m i g o r e n here. So, just take your sauce packages and then set that aside for something else. You can cook the noodles as usual, and we will be using this yakisoba sauce. It says tonkatsu sauce, but it's pretty much the same thing. And the sauce will make the yakisoba flavor of your instant noodles. Great. Okay, so I've cooked and drained the noodles, and we're going to add our yakisoba sauce. So if you can't find tonkatsu sauce, yakisoba sauce, you can also use the okonomiyaki sauce that I'm about to bring out. But we're just gonna give this a nice, generous squeeze. So, once it takes on this glossy brown kind of look, you know that that should be enough sauce. So, we're done the yakisoba so fast, and we're gonna put that aside and take care of the rest. Alright, so now we're ready to assemble our okonomiyaki. First, we have a pan heated up with a little bit of oil. So, on the bottom, we're going to start with about a nice thin layer of batter. You want to make sure it's nice and smooth or nice and round. I think that's the biggest issue. Okay, so this is decently round, I gotta say. And we're going to add a nice big bunch of cabbage right in there. There are onions and green onions. So I'm gonna use half of the green onions that I chopped and half of the onions. Just gonna make sure that's nice and scattered in there. Okay, 
Next, we're going to add our yakisoba noodles. Boom, right on top. Spread it out a little nicer now. Okay, I tried. And lastly, we're going to put some really thinly sliced pork. So this I bought from the grocery store as hot pot pork. So it's really thin and you make sure that you don't um, undercook your pork, which is definitely not something you want to do, right? So just crack one egg straight into the middle of all this, just like the anime. And to seal the deal, we're going to add a little more batter over the top of it. Oh no, it's sliding right off the egg. I don't know if this is the right thing to do anymore. Come on, egg. Accept. Accept it. No. Okay, you know what? I think it'll figure itself out. Kind of. I'm going to attempt to flip this. It's going to be hard. Some mistakes were made. But I believe in myself. Take two spatulas. Okay. Are you ready? No, the egg! Gah! Oh no! Okay, it's fine. Everything's fine. There, it looks decent. Okay, so now you've got a weirdly shaped okonomiyaki. Um, I mean, at least the bottom looks fine. We'll just let that cook and we'll plate right after this. Here is my finished product of the okonomiyaki. What I did is I slapped the lid on it in the pan and then cooked it for about five to 10 more minutes. Now it's time to top. What you really need is this okonomiyaki sauce. This is basically the heart and soul of the whole dish. It adds the majority of the flavor along with the yakisoba. So I would say you really need to find this. So let's say you really don't find this. You can use your uh, yakisoba sauce. And this should be fine. You know, buying so many sauces for one dish really isn't worth it if you're not gonna make it all the time. So let's just put a big squeeze to see how thick that is in the middle and we're just going to brush it around just like how the anime was you can eat this as is like the anime or you can add a topping of bonito flakes so i don't have bonito flakes but i do have this furikake that contains bonito and seaweed and some other goodies so i'm just going to give that a nice sprinkling on top and there you have it, the from Yuri Camp. I can't wait to try it. I know it's going to be good. So let's just cut it. I don't have the spatula like they do in the anime. Ooh, there's a nice char on the bottom from the noodles that were burnt. <laughs> Pretty sure that's what it's supposed to be. Delicious. I think the real charm of this dish is watching your chef make it at the restaurant. So, you know, someday I'll go to Japan, I'll get this. But otherwise, if you're at home watching Yuri Camp Season 2, you better make this because it's good. So, before I go, I just want to say that I'm really happy to see that I have over a thousand subscribers now. Can't believe I did it. You know, I've been posting here and there just because I want to. So for the next few videos, I'm going to be taking suggestions from my comment section about what to make. And that's my thousand subscriber gift. It's videos for you that you want to see. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not. And stay tuned for more videos.